Hey church, my name is Rachel and in today's Devo, we're going to talk a little bit about how to help somebody walk through a tough time or with mental health. Um, and so our scripture today comes from Psalm 56, verses 3 and 4. It says, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. And God, whose word I praise, and God I trust, I shall not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? Um, before we kind of pull a few points from this, from David's writing here, I want us to know the background, like where is he writing this from? And so that's actually found in 1 Samuel. Um, in chapter 21, it talks about how Saul is trying to take David out, King Saul is, and as David is running from him, he comes up against this other guy, this other king. And so kind of caught between these two forces, David decides to pretend like he's lost his mind. And it works, and this other guy thinks he's not a threat, and David's able to make his escape and, and hide out. I just think it's important for us to know um, David's not saying this from like a comfortable place. Uh, he says this from a really tough situation. And so um, mental health is also a really tough situation. And so we're going to pull some, a few, a few points from this. Um, and so the first thing is just honesty. I think David starts and he says, when I am afraid, like there are times when we ourselves or the people around us are going to be afraid, might be depressed, might be angry. Let's be honest about it. And then I think the next thing is uh, listening. Um, I think it's been one of the most helpful things for me when someone would just kind of be a trustworthy space for me to get all of the thoughts and stuff that was just spinning in my head constantly out on the table where it, it kind of helped make sense of some things. Um, and it helped take a lot of that pressure off my mind. And then uh, the third thing though, I think we should always listen and you know acknowledge where people are and be trustworthy, let them talk about that. But then um, as believers, like let's speak truth back to them. Uh, the word says be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And so sometimes like other people have stepped in and helped me when I couldn't always do this for myself and they've sent me scriptures um, and spoken like truth to me and all of these things and it's been really helpful. Um, and so let's be sharing, you know, sharing scripture, pointing things back to the word, reminding people the word isn't changing. Um, and let's ourselves, as we're helping someone walk through something tough, remember like, yeah, the word is trustworthy for us as we help others too. Um, and let that be our foundation. And then the final thing is to just offer perspective when we can. I know we have to be really careful about that, but you know, sometimes if people are having a struggle in mental health, it's kind of like they might have like a narrow view lens um, on life. And so if you aren't in that space as well, you have probably like a different view of lens, maybe a wider view lens, and uh, your perspective can be really helpful to them. I do think we should always, you know, ask the Holy Spirit and be careful about how we go about that. But that is something that can be needed and be very helpful for people. So those are the four things. Um, that I was thinking of today and I thought could be helpful to us. And so um, I hope that helps you in this week uh, to remember honesty, listening, speaking truth, and just offering perspective.